Well, it's today, ladies and gentlemen, today here we are at home with my wife, kids for this Valentine's Day. We're ready to prepare this nice pork shoulder for us to have later on for dinner. So I'm going to show you how we're marinating. We're not going to marinate it, we're going to season it to get it ready for the oven at 375 for today's dinner. First thing I'm going to do, as you see, I'm, going to, I'm just going to give it a couple of slices like this. Like that. And like that. And like this. Wow. Right? As gentle as I could. And over here, what I'm going to do, try to at least get some in here like that, deep enough, look. So I can stuff something in there. See, look at that. See? I'm going to stuff that in a while. And over here, I'll slice it some more. And then I will flip it over to the skin part. Because I like the skin to dip through. So I can get that. So I'll slice it. Oh, yes, that one will work, huh? Oh, no. Well, stop that. And then, see? Look. Like that. Like that, see? And when I hit this one here, let me open it up a little bit. As you see, a little bit over here. And a little bit. See that? Nice. Look at that one. So the first thing I want to start with is this. This is so good. I'll flip it over, put it to the side. This is going to help me give it a little color to the skin. As you see, the skin is right now. Look at it now. See the color of it? The orange pastry color to it. I would then let it flip it over now this way. And I want to get this the little, this got a little seasoning to it. Because I want it to have a little taste to it. I don't use too much, but as you see, look at that. Nice kind of look. The next thing I was going to use is this. It's going to adorable. I will give it enough to give it taste. So here we go. Let me open up some of these cracks. Like that. See, in your eyes, rub it in. See that right there, right there, right there. And then I will flip it over. Just a little bit, not too much on this side. It's going to be the skin that I want to dry. So as you see how nice it's looking. Now I go to the next one. The next one I'm going to use is a little bit, a little bit of this sofrito here. I'll get a spoon. I will get some. As I told you before, I do want it inside. So like this. In here, look, see that, and in here, and then I will mix it around real nice. And you're not gonna be cheap with it, but I want it to come out tasty. Look, see that? Oh, yeah. On the other side, I don't gotta put none, so I want to do like this get a little more, open it all this up in here. Look, give it some taste in here, in here. See that? Look, I'll make sure I got enough. And then, once again, inside this one is my pocket. Which, a matter of fact, I'm gonna make it a little deeper. See that? That one, I put a little bit of sofrito to in there, stuff it up. Here we go. Here we go. What is sofrito made of? Sofrito is made out of all kinds of Spanish vegetables. You can buy it at the store, but it's made of like garlic, peppers, onions, everything that you can want. Look at that. That's going to go deep inside here. And then for the final touch that I like to do is I like to get a little bit of this beautiful garlic here chopped up already. Spread it out. That's enough. See? Look what I did. And look at that. I'll make sure I got enough garlic to give it that nice garlic taste. I'll put a lot in here. Look at that. And the other side here. Look at this baby here. This one here. I'll stuff it up a little bit more down here. I'll get a little sofrito. And for me, look at that. And then I'll spread it out. Make sure it's evenly nice. Look at this. Evenly. What I like to do, I like to put a little oregano on it. Just to give it a little taste more, better taste to it. If I can open this, here we go. Take a little bit of oregano. You know, that's nice. 
Sim. Like that. Like that. Next, I'll just sit it on this thing right here. Well, I can cover it and let it set. Right here, look at that. Well, this way, look at that. I'll wrap that, I'll wrap that up real nice again in a little while. I'm just gonna do it. Give it a little bit of more so on this side. Look at that. Uh, as you see, soon we're gonna see what the final touch is. Uh, there. Is Thank that you. a skin on the top? Later on, I'm gonna flip it over the skin on the top and let it cook again. Okay. Everybody, this is going later on. I'll see you. I'll show you what's next. Next, I'm going to wrap it up and put it in the oven. Thank you. Oh, you need to wrap it up? Yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. How you doing now? I'm going to use as you turn my alarm stick in the back. Now, I just want to wrap it up, cover it. And then I'll take the cover off the lid so I can get a little moisture in it. And then later on, I can just take the cover off. And put the skin up and so the skin up will get nice and crispy on me. But for time now, I just want to cover it. As you see, I'm using a brand new non stick pan that I bought. I like the non stick better, so with the little cage in the side, the, the skin's not going to stick to it. So it'll give me a better chance for me to get busy on it. So right now, I'm just going to cover it like this. But as you can see, I just set it in the bottom. As you look across like this, no, all right, try to wrap, not wrap it on top of the handle because I wouldn't want to be able to grab that handle later to take it off. So here we go. I'm getting it ready. I preheat the, at 375 because I, I don't want to be here all day cooking it. And then look at it. I think for now, this is a real good one that I like. As you see, it, it got handles. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set open up my oven that's already set at 350. I'm making sure it's nice. So later on when I take this, put this aluminum off, in an hour or two, in like two hours, I can flip it over with the skin up. And I'll show you how I let the skin bake for a little while. And then we'll see what it looks like. But right now, the oven's already preheated. Throw it in the center right there at 375. And I'm continuing. What's that? With the fork. Pork shoulder or pernil? What's that? Pernil. With the fork I had. Pernil? Pernil. That's the screen. Ready? Today's skin. Look at this. One nice piece. Hard like a rock. And therefore, way. Look at the, bo the bone. Look at, look at the cook drunk again. It's alright. The best part. It's supposed to be a pork shoulder with a bone and it's hanging on it. <laughs> That's over, over <laughs> overcooked. No, it's not overcooked. It's beautiful. <laughs> the bone, what the bone come out, you got to know you're cooked. And that this become bone? Look at that. Beautiful to that wall. It's almost like a worst bone. And like, I wish I could eat bone. But, we'll continue. 
bit of rice is all me. So, for $27.50, come and get a plate. <laughs> what? Are you selling food now? No. <laughs> I'm enjoying food. Look at that. Oh my god. All right, everybody, have a nice day. Bye. But uh, you know what that means? Time to get busy. All this food we need to eat. We still got more to cook. But, my supper, give me a call. Yeah. What? Wait 800 love. 1 800 love. Any better times? It's the end now. Uh -huh. Eat all the food. Bye. Don't forget like, share, and subscribe. Bye.